production reports or process costing reports under FIFO. We are doing problem P2, and so far we've done the first two steps. Account for the physical units of effort uh, for that manager of a particular work in process account, and how much work did they do this period? Account for their equivalent units of effort. In other words, how much did they sweat? Step three says that manager not only has to track the units through their work in process account, but they also have to track their costs. So step three says account for your costs. Now this particular problem told me that beginning inventory had $4,607 of direct material costs associated with it and beginning inventory had $3,535 of conversion, meaning labor and overhead. So if I add these, the labor plus the conversion together, I find that the beginning balance in the work in process account was $8,142. That's the BB, or the beginning balance. The problem also states that during the period we added $71,108 of materials and we added uh, labor and overhead costs that totaled to 51135 I believe in this problem they tell you labor, they tell you overhead. What I've done here is added them together. Um, one less column to deal with, isn't it? So if I add these two together, I find that the manager is accountable for $122,243 of costs that came into their um, responsibility this period. So, how much cost is this manager accountable for? Well, they're accountable for the beginning plus the costs that were started. So that's $130,385. So you have to account for that amount. So when we finish the problem, that's the check figure. We have to come back to this total cost because a manager cannot gain or lose any money in this process. That's what they're accountable for. So that's step three, account for the cost. Step four says, let's find the cost per equivalent unit so that we can assign a value to ending inventory and to the goods transferred out. So to find our cost per equivalent unit in FIFO, how it works is this. We're going to take our current cost, in other words, how much cost happened in the current period, and divide that by our current effort. In other words, what did you do this period? So current cost, if I don't total the materials and the conversion, all I have to do is look up to find the numerator. So notice the numerator is 71,108. Look up, it's right here. For labor and overhead, looking up, it's 51135 So those are the current costs. How much cost was associated with production for the current period? As far as our current effort, I look up to the next double underline and I say, oh, remember step two, cost at the equivalent units? Well, our current equivalent units were 61300 for uh, lab for materials and sixty thousand eight seventy five for labor and overhead. So by finding step two and dividing that into basically step three, am I able to find my current cost per current equivalent unit? And so let's see what is that. And I'm going to circle them so I know what they are. So 61,300 into 71,108 comes to $1.16. So how much cost will we assign uh, to materials, whether they're in uh, uh, ending inventory or transferred out? $1.16 for materials. As far as conversion, 60,875 into 51,135 says that my cost per equivalent unit for conversion is 84 cents. So we will assign 84 cents per equivalent unit to ending inventory and to the goods transferred out. Are you ready for step five? Stay tuned.